Hey everybody, it is Mindy and I have a package. <laughs> I've had this package for about a week. Yeah, about a week. I think it came tomorrow. It would be a full week. I haven't unboxed it yet. I've been busy. I had other packages come in. I've had school still. I've been, it's, you know, it's spring here, almost summer. Um, time to plant flowers, working on my flower bed out back. I've been busy. <laughs> and then making the videos I've been making has been difficult. I've had some issues with my phone telling me that I'm out of storage, which I couldn't figure out. And then I thought everything was backed up to Google. And then I couldn't get it out of Google. Anyhow, some of my videos will be a little weird and wonky because I couldn't edit the way I normally do. So I apologize, but I think I got it figured out. Okay. Anyhow, this is coming to us from the Mayo store. That's how I say it. M-A-O. Mayo. This, well, these should be two. These are the two canvases that started the whole farm project idea. These are the two paintings I saw that I fell in love with. And then I searched around and searched around to find two others to go with it because, you know, I'm making that four paneled. Yeah, it should be cool. Someday, a couple years from now. <laughs> Anyhow, I ordered these the end of April. 3.31 to be precise. There's some drills. 3.31 I ordered these and I got them on 5.29. All right, you know, considering everything that's going on, two months, you know, two months. Okay, here's some tool kits and a tab. Would you like the tab to the box? <laughs> the box is, you know, seen better days. It's been floating around the world for two months. What can you expect? Anyhow, it's here and I'm excited. I paid $34.40 for both of them. Okay, here's their tool kit baggies the little metal tweezers drill pen bags wax times two two kits drills over there i'm so excited for this now i hope these are okay because they look a little they're a little crumpled a little crumpled but we'll uh we'll hopefully they'll hopefully be okay let's see if we can get them apart first of all do them one at a time yeah, they're a little crumpled. Yeah, it's all right. If we got a few little rivers or bubbles, we can deal with it. We can deal with it. So, I had to have these. This whole idea. Okay, it's not too bad. I mean, we got some creases and stuff, but I don't see anything major. I don't see any major rivers and bubbles and whatnot. So, let's see if we can gently peel this oh so this is the one i grabbed first okay cute it's gonna be so cute this seems to be one piece of paper so let me tease it off here all the way across look at that i didn't even tear it yay and we'll peel it back all right let's peel okay i got it going now i can turn it this way and we'll just We'll just start pulling this paper back and you guys will start to see the image emerge. I can already see something in the corner. Legend on the side, picture on the side. Oh man. <laughs> I hope you're seeing what I'm seeing. It's so cute. Okay, come on little painting. Just roll out from underneath there. Come on, one bump, another bump, come on, and just flatten out for us, perfect, perfect, yay, do you see it, you see it, don't you, it's this little girl she is out in the barnyard feeding the chickens. There are all kinds of chicks and chickens. Even back here, that's the chicken coop. Back there, there's a chicken in the coop. Yeah, how cute. This little girl, this little blonde-haired girl. 
and there's horse. There's a horse and there's, mm, I don't remember what's over there. Another horse. Maybe there's two horses back there in their stalls looking out. So cute. So, so cute. All right. Okay. Already I am loving this does not have um, guide circles. There are no guide circles on it. It's not too bad. I mean, there's a few what I would call little wrinkles, rivers maybe, but no big puckers or anything like that. Oh, it's so cute. I wait till you see the inventory sheet. It's so cute. Okay. See the symbols? Symbols are clear. Oh, they do have some faint um, circles. I take that back. They do. But they're like white and they're white on some colors, dark on other colors. I don't, I hope they're not going to really show much. Anyhow. We'll see. So it should be a 50 by 40, just like the other two I've already shown. And let's put the paper back on and we'll look at the inventory sheet and the drills and such. Oh, and look at that. Right off the bat, I messed it up. Come on. Don't do that. I noticed something. I'll show you here in a second if you can see it. You know, the reason this paper doesn't go back on very good is it's so thick it's just so thick and it's all gunked up here and just sometimes I just put parchment paper on it just because this paper is so wrinkled it doesn't like to go lay back down you know what I mean it's really messed up on this side. So we're going to open it from this side and lay it back down over here. But so here's one of those companies that I think probably is, you know, two companies or more than one or whatever. They're, you know what I mean? Because look at this. It just doesn't want to go flat. This paper just wants to be all. So up here at the top is this name. I've seen that before. Maishin. But this is from the Mayo store. So same factory something. I don't know. I think they might be the same. Okay, so here she is. Our little girl. These are in that folded bag. Where do we get in? These are those big old thin plastic bags. I don't like these bags. Um, colors. I mean, yeah, I'll show you. I'll just take some out and kind of show you a handful. I mean, you're going to get what you're going to get, right? You're going to get browns, reds. Pink, blue, you know, and they come in all these strips like this. So here's 500. It's a green. I like the numbers on it, though. The numbers are gold. They're easy to see. I don't like when they do black. Black are hard, hard to see. So I'm not going to go through all of these colors, but blues. Here's 939. A whole bunch of those. Uh, yeah, when you see the canvas or the picture, you'll see the colors. All right, our inventory sheet, and most of the time from AliExpress, these are the types of inventory sheets you'll get. You get your numbers down the side. Wow, there's 40 colors. That's quite a few. <laughs> I didn't expect that many, but there's 40. So your sheet is numbered down the side. 40 colors. Here's the symbols, right? Here's your DMC code. Tells you how many bags you'll have and how many drills you'll need. All right. So your number, your symbol, your DMC number, how many bags you should have, how many drills you'll need. 
So if you need 277 drills, they're going to give you two bags and each bag has 200. So I should have 400 drills. Same thing here. I should have 400 drills in those two bags and I need, I need 350. So you'll see there's going to be plenty in most of these. This will be a bag of 200 and I need 164. See it tells you right here, 200 pieces. A big bag is a thousand. So I don't know if I have any big bags. Uh, looks like I have a lot of the 939, 3,000 are needed, 500, 2,000, and 326, which I'm sure is going to be a red. I need a bunch. So here's the picture. Here she is. Okay, it's not a horse in the other stall. It's cow. Horse in one stall, cow in the other, chickens going into the chicken coop, and a whole yard full of chickens. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, that would be Rowdy's counterpart. That would be a female of Rowdy's breed right there. Yeah, but that's a hen. There's no roosters in this picture, just hens and chicks. I like that, <laughs> just hens and chicks. <laughs> yep, we have one that looks just like that, we have one that looks like that, and we have one that looks like that. That's Blondie, this one doesn't have a name. And of course, the rooster that looks like that is Rowdy. Isn't she cute though? Feeding her little chickens. Sorry, I got it way too high. Feeding her little chickens out in the barnyard. So cute. So cute. Okay, like I said, these are the paintings that started it. These two right here started the whole thing. <laughs> All right, we'll slide that one over there. And we'll get into the next one. All right. I am so excited these are here. I don't know when I'm going to get to work on them, but like I said, a couple years I'll have this project done. <laughs> the frame isn't going anywhere. It's just out in the garage. It'll be all right. I don't know if I'm going to try to keep smoothing down that paper or take it off. I don't know. We'll see. I will determine that at a later date. All right. Now, here's the thing, guys. I don't have all these farm animals, okay? I don't have cows. I don't have goats. My daughter does. I don't have this animal on my farm either. I don't have horses. My daughter does. But uh, nobody has sheep. You saw the one with the sheep. And none of us have this animal either, but who could resist? I mean, I just fell in love with, oh, and I pulled the paper right off. Okay, all right then, that paper came all the way off. One last little hump and tore it right off. Uh, nobody has pigs. <laughs> none of us have pigs, but these two little kids feeding their farm animals captured my heart. And I just love them so much. And they matched so well. And that's when I thought, okay. Then my husband came home with those frames. And when he showed me those, they're not really frames. They're palettes with, I don't know. You'll see them someday. Um, yeah, I was like, okay, there are four slots. Four slots in there. And they're big enough to hold a 40 by 50. And the idea emerged. And I found two more that would go with these. And I did pull the paper right off. <laughs> well, anyhow, this may, be a, this may be a parchment paper day. I might get out parchment paper because this paper is so thick and just doesn't like to cooperate and go back down on there. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm not going to fuss with that anymore because I'm just going to take it off. I'll deal with that in a bit. Again, where is the opening? <laughs> so you know what I'm going to be doing for a little bit after this. I am going to be inventorying drills 
and putting parchment paper on those two paintings. And then I'll hang them somewhere. I think I might have the other ones hung as well. Look at all this pink. You think that's going to go in the pig? The pigs are going to be pink? I think so. Look at all the colors though. There's purples. There's blues. There's just all kinds of colors. Okay. More purples. And some orangey tan colors. Red. Here's our red. <laughs> we gotta have the barn, right? That's gonna be our barn color. 347. A lot of barn. Greens. Tans. There's our colors. You can see them. More pinks. That's gonna go with the pig. There you go. There's our colors. What do you think? Yeah. All right. Same inventory sheet. This one also has 40 colors. Yep. 40 colors. Uh, 35 95 18 bags of the horseshoe. <laughs> That's fitting, isn't it? <laughs> the horseshoe is the red one. <laughs> the most largest number of drills. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Oh, you couldn't tell that in the picture, I don't think. Look, he's got a basket of apples back there behind him. And that's what he's feeding the pigs are the apples. So he's got a whole basket of apples. Look at this is a spotted pig. They're piglets. They're babies. Little kids, little pigs, right? There's some sunflowers back by the barn. And what do we have in the barn? Um, I can't tell what those are. Sheep or goats? That's a cow. More sunflowers. Look at their bib. Look at his bibbed overalls. That's so cute. I loved these kids. Just loved these kids. Could not resist them. So there's what we have, you guys. There's what we have. We got the boy. And we got the girl. Aren't they cute? Now you see why I had to get them and how well they go together. It's like they're at the same barn pretty much, right? And they're both outside just doing chores, just feeding their animals. They're so cute. And then, of course, I have the sheep to go with it and the cows and they also have the red barn in the background. I think it'll be a fantastic project. I am super excited about this. This has been a year and I started thinking about this last summer. So it's been a year in the making and I finally ordered them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I just have to find the time to do them for 40 by 50s. I didn't even measure those because I'm pretty sure they're going to be 40 by 50 true to size, just like the others were. So let me inventory this stuff, put some parchment paper on those canvases and put this stuff away. Um, before I go, I would like to say thank you so much to everybody who has joined the channel as a member. I think I've shouted everybody out so far and I am putting all of your names at the ends of the videos. I've made a little slideshow and you're all on there. Um, had a couple people ask about joining. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you need to go to my channel. Like if you find a video, hit, you know, like go to channel. You have to go to the channel, to my like home page of my channel. And that's where you would find the subscribe button. And next to subscribe is a join button. And that's where you can go in and see all the benefits and the perks that you will get. I've been doing pretty good putting stuff out there. I think I need to put something out there this week. I put little videos and pictures and funny things, little memes and things like that. So anyhow, that's how you do it, guys. Go to the channel, view channel, and you'll see that button. Okay. So thank you to everybody who has already joined. Um, and I hope you're enjoying some of the extra perks that you get. I got to get this all cleaned up and put away because sometime this afternoon, a diamond art club should show up on my porch. <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, ring the bell so you'll know when I have videos out. You know I do one pretty much every day, so you can look for one every day, but ring the bell. You'll know when it's up. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next.